Hello stranger on the internet and welcome to my second touch designer tutorial on YouTube. Today we will be looking at instancing, um, which will eventually look like that. Uh, actually you can do a lot of more stuff with it, like by changing different parameters you can do stuff like that, whatever that might be, or that. Alrighty, uh, before we get started, oh, let's just delete that. Uh, remember that you should not take my advice as a professional advice, but rather as an invitation to go on this journey with me. Okay, uh, let's dive into it. Uh, first, uh, you, we need to get a sub. I'll take a box. Um, this will be actually the geometric uh, shape we will be manipulating. And I will add a noise to that. Alrighty. Uh, Set to offset to 10, the amplitude to 0 for now, and the roughness to 1. Mm. Afterwards, I will transform that in order to make it a little bit smaller. And I'd say we go with 0 0.05, uh, 0.25, sorry. Um, and now it's time to get the main component, which will be the geometry comp. Um, and we also need a camera to this. Alrighty, I'll set the camera to, I'll leave that like that, just put the scale to 3, 3 and uh, 2, I'd say. Um, and then we can already place a render top right here. And what we got now is <laughs> not really interesting. Uh, because the magic is actually coming now. We're using a subcomponent to get the position data for instancing. For, uh, for instancing sorry. Um, and for that, I'll take a sphere. All right, here we go. Now we add a noise to that as well. Um, and put the offset to like about 10 and the amplitude to 10 for now. Um, I turn the roughness down to, down to zero and this we are going to pipe into a null and that's actually our ini, like that's our instance data and we will be using that inside um, you know, like uh, this instance part of our geometry. Uh, we just activate that and pull our any inside, like into the uh, default instance OP. And now I'm gonna put P0, P1, and P2 like on the different like translate x p0 translate y p1 and translate z uh, p2 um like this is the position data we get from from our sp sphere right here and what we got now is actually you know like all those spheres uh, floating around um and i'll add a line mat to that like a line line material which is a pretty powerful um component and just drag it on top. All right, cool. I'm gonna choose another color for that and set the value to 0.8. Okie dokie. And I'm gonna stretch the um, our boxes a little bit by I'll go going to the scale OP and put uh, P2 on that as well. Now we got those, you know, like st stretched box thingies. Um, and this already looks at least a little bit more interesting. And to make it even better, we'll get on this place top, which we will I'll put the offset weight on one and put the extends to to mirror. Mm. And this takes another input. That's why we will use um, a noise. 
and just plug that inside. Of course, we should um, animate this by using apps time dot seconds times I don't know 0.5 or something. Mm -hmm. And putting it like pulling down the the uh, offset to zero and uh, the amplitude to two. Now we need a mirror top and flip X. And afterwards, we're to take a transform. Mm, scale it down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and rotate it, uh, rotate it by 90 degrees. Uh, of course, we, in order to get the the right uh, aspect ratio, we go back to the render top and change it right here, and. I'll make a black background on that um, and put the extents to mirror. And now we got like this pretty basic stuff we got before. I'll just set, put the amplitude down and here you go. Like that's the basic um, system. Okay, cool. Since we got that going, uh, you can now go ahead and play around with the parameters or add to it. Um, you could, for example, I don't know, um, change the algorithm here. Uh, you know, set the amplitude higher. Look what it's giving you back. Um, you can also uh, play around with the amplitude here or with the offset, <laughs> which makes it pretty crazy. Uh, of course, you can always go inside the camera and uh, play around with the scale to get different outputs um, or, you know, play around with this uh, noise, uh, making the amplitude higher and using different noise algorithms. <laughs> Some of them are pretty trippy. Some are <laughs> way too much, uh, but you know, you, you 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 like get the point. You can you can do a whole lot of stuff with that. Um, also playing around with the mirror, and uh, I just farted. <laughs> I hope I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, mm, you can also. You know, put that on hold, which looks pretty crazy, but um, it can look cool if you are like adjusting the the transform quite a bit. For example, putting this to point eight and one or something, and now you can go to hold and I don't know. Um, oops, that's not cool. I don't know stuff like that. <laughs> you know, you can you can just experiment around and and uh, look what you get. Um, I hope you liked it, and yeah, I wish you a wonderful day, and see you next time.